Levi once again back with the co-op series episode 33. I am uh, doing, I have expanded the dimensions out for the screer base a little bit. It's been uh, just kind of digging out stone overnight and I know I'm sorry a little bit later than usual for my episodes but it, I figured at least get this collapsed up and, and uh, yeah, Fangs is still working away. I think. Fangs, are you still working on your basement? Yep. Placing down all Check on of it. our frames. Oh, lovely. Yeah, he's just having his fun down here, and. Uh, it's tedious, this is... not fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were just kind of thinking, like, uh. We're on, like, a. Uh, our last episode for a recording session, but we're thinking about bringing a couple more players. And uh, Fangs was discussing like, what should we do for like an in-game economy? That like, uh, my suggestion was sham sandwiches, because since they're utterly worthless, and might as well give them some value in the game. <laughs> I say no to that. <laughs> they're not the most common drop ever from zombies. Yet the amount that you'd have to uh, do for an actual pricing system would be absurd for how, how common they are, because I get them a bunch. To me, I was just thinking, like, uh, we do have uh, player vending machines. We could just do stuff like uh, the actual coins, or we could do uh, food, vitamins, medicines. I was thinking just use like the player vending machines as a, uh, you know, just use the dukes. Besides, it's like, you know, that's, I've said this before and I'll say it again, but uh, the, all the traders are just glorified vending machines. And you won't ever be wrong about that. It's like, as much as I like the, having the traders on this version, it's just kind of like, without their quests uh, that PC has, they're just kind of there. But yeah, so, gonna do a little bit more time lapsing for you folks, and I'm going to uh, work on uh, expanding uh, the pit, so give me a little bit and and I should uh, have it uh, done hopefully soon.
folks, I'm taking a break from the time lapse here uh, to show you. Like, I know it, you watch time lapse, like, seem like not doing too much, but decided to finally organize myself. Got uh, got some basic organization. There's still a lot of crap to organize through, but I figured, hey, it, it's a it's a start. So. Yeah, I know this is going to be a bit of a time-lapse heavy episode. We're going to be... I just want to make sure I try to get this done at least. Um, why am I putting drinks in with the, with the weapon parts? That's not a great idea. But Anyways, back to the time-lapse for you. So we're done with the ba uh, big digging out the basic uh, dimensions of the pit. Keep in mind, I'm going to dig this out all the way down to bedrock. I just finished digging my thing right as you s we started talking. <laughs> wow, what the timing! <laughs> no kidding. What's uh? I know uh, Fangs was having a bit of. Uh, Crisis with the arrow slots. Yeah, he was like, uh, if you just kind of look at it, it's a little bit jarring with how these are. Yeah, and they'll have the spikes upside down for here. Like, are you gonna dig down one more and, uh. No, they'll be placed right here on this block. On this oh! Block. I got you now. So the crawlers will be right at headshot at that level. <laughs> just. Bam. bam! Bam, bam, bam. Yep. Sayonara! <laughs> ah. Say hello to my little friend. His name's Revolver. Revolver? <laughs> I was gonna say, his name's 44 Magnum. That's too big. That makes it a lot less imposing. 
The shorter the name is always better and ta more terrifying. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I apologize for the uh, time lapse heavy episode, but just wanted to build this out and. Hopefully in the next episode, we uh, should have a couple, uh, one or two more people with us. So, uh, have a great day and take care. I can craft 841 steel arrowheads. Mm. That's sad. And it would only take me 13 minutes. Wow. wow. Uh-huh. Well... I'll be going. Okay, I was just, I was gonna go a little bit more, um...